Right, so we've arrived in Pakistan. Yes, eventually. We got here about 8.30 this morning, so he picked me up from the airport, um, and we're on his way to play golf. Yes. 12 o'clock, and I must say, I've only been here a few hours, guys, and this is some culture shock to eat. I'm is not, it? I'm not going to lie. Honestly, wow. I've obviously just come from Dubai, um, where I've spent a couple of days with my mate Rob. Yeah. Um, Travelled here, got a really good deal on business class. Right. So I've had life of luxury for a couple of days. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward to learning a lot about culture and life in Pakistan. But, good. But I'm... Yeah, I mean, unless you've ever travelled here before... You would not know. You would not know, would what, know. what I'm feeling at the minute. Yes. Um, the only way I could describe it is that I think in the UK, yeah. when people think they've got poverty, yeah, they don't even know what poverty is. Yes, I understand. The, the difference between poverty and rich in the UK is like this. Yes, right. The difference between the rich and the poor in Pakistan is like this. It's exponentially. Like I can't even make it. There's not enough room in this car no, just like, yeah, <laughs> to show is. you the difference. That, that's the difference, absolutely. And I've been just chucked into this where, you know, I'm looking around me and it's crazy. Yes. But at the same time, you remember uh, when I mentioned to you a year ago or so, yeah. golf in Pakistan, you say, do people play golf in Pakistan? You remember you said I didn't even know. I, honestly, that was I was gobsmacked. I said, when, Gary, you don't know the people in Pakistan play golf. I didn't know there was even a golf course in Pakistan. Wow. Today. Wow. And here we are. Wow. We've got that much golf planned this week. We've had to turn golf down. Absolutely. That's why we're hitting the road straight away. Went home, had a quick bite, and we're hitting the road because we only have four days in Islamabad. And five clubs to cater to. Yeah. I mean, we could have honestly played ten times in this four days, yes. but um, unfortunately we can't sort of see everyone, but yeah. we're, we're on our way to what you said is possibly one of the best nine-hole golf courses in Islamabad. Yeah, um, in Pakistan, perhaps. In Pakistan. Yes, because in, this is the new golf course. Uh, it's called... Uh, Pine Club, I believe, but yeah. it's called it, the name of the locality is called Bahria Golf City. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's an absolute fantastic place. Yeah, very serene, and uh, they built it about probably six seven years ago. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing this. You know, it's going to be the first ever time I've stepped on a golf course in Pakistan. There we go. But I think I'm also going to enjoy seeing the shift in. Yes. Like obviously being out of city. To yeah. actually experiencing something a bit more, you know, in my familiar surroundings where I feel I feel a bit nervy a minute. Uh, yeah. And I think when I get to a golf course and yeah. I'm, you know, I'll feel a lot more settled. You'll feel at home, eh? I'll feel of a natural <laughs> habitat. <laughs> One of the things I'm a bit surprised about so far is, and I don't know if this is a perception from British people that's not been to Pakistan. Yeah. But I'm very surprised at how um, you know much infrastructure there is. You know, in terms of like how many lanes there is on the road. Yes. This might sound really bad, but I just thought they'd be like, I didn't think you'd have like tarmac roads and five lanes. Yeah. And you said that's not even a motorway. No, it's 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 not motorway. It's called Kashmir Highway and it has a number of lanes because it's quite a busy road yeah so they had to have that kind of uh, uh, that number of lanes on so each side surely you can't have much traffic jams when you've got that many lanes yes still traffic it's, sometimes i think it's not that big queues i haven't experienced that yeah. to be honest not yeah. like m62 <laughs> no definitely <laughs> not more obvious are even quieter yeah more definitely a lot quieter than the uk yeah i mean i've seen a lot of like Really nice built-up places. Yes. And I, I didn't just, ex I just didn't expect this. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you didn't expect the people, three people on motorbike either, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, but maybe more out of city, uh, not yeah. like yeah. you know in Islamabad so much. But yes. I mean, what? Where would you class this? Are we near the city now? Or? Well, we are in the centre now. Uh, but we're not actually like we're on the road. Yes. Yeah, but this is the centre. Because yeah. the, the, I'll show you when I, on the way back, yeah. uh, there's a, 
National Assembly building on this side, the Supreme Court building on this side, the Prime Minister House, the President House, they're all uh, near here. Yeah. And that's a, quite a famous Serena Hotel on your left. So you will see on the left hand side, guys, that there's quite a few, you call them vendors to heed. Yeah, you can call them street vendors. They sell roadside like vendors, fresh food, yeah, um, fresh juices and citrus and ready to eat, food. ready to eat food and sweet potatoes. They'll probably uh, roast it there and then for yeah. you sweet potatoes and offer you the plate and that kind of stuff. And we definitely, definitely, I've said to him, we're definitely be trying some of that food <laughs> this week <laughs> on the way back. I want to make a video and you know obviously share trying some food, yes, some well, fast food, definitely. One thing I've picked up as well on this journey is that I'm actually starting to think UK could be too regulated on driving because we've got ourselves in a couple of tricky situations <laughs> where we might have took the wrong road but we could correct it and, and people like, you know, Take like, that's normal. Yes, because uh, I'm, uh, to be honest, this is the first time ever I'm driving myself. Yeah. I have had a driver in the past and uh, I'm still navigating my ways. Yeah. And sometimes I do get into a situation where you can kind of, you know. But you can get yourself out of it, and the other people on the road yeah. kind of are, are, they, are anticipating. Well, so they, you can they, get yourself out. I know, but the be pound as well. Say, yeah. move away, don't do that. <laughs> but, it's amazing how much I'm learning in one day. Yeah. Look at the mountains as well. I mean, I sound really like naive here, but I really didn't know you had this in Islamabad. Like this is, like, this right. is like a, a major city, yeah. and you're surrounded by like mountains. Yes, it is. Which is incredible. You know, you just don't get that in our cities, do you? In the UK. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's uh, Islamabad is quite scenic, as I said. It's uh, it's a lovely city. Guys, I don't know if you at home have got a perception of what you would have expected a golf course for, but my perception would have been they were like flat, like right. kind of. Uh, American like big greens right, you know okay. like because I've only seen Romanza right okay so I've not seen any other golf course online yeah. apart from Romanza Romanza and Multan is the latest edition yeah it uh, was inaugurated probably a year or two years ago by Sir Nick Faldo so uh, th that is very prestigious course. yeah but but from what f from the terrain we're getting on now I'm starting to wonder if this is going to be a bit maybe hilly uh, Multan, where Romanza is, is not hilly at all. Lahore is not hilly at all. Islamabad Rawalpindi is very hilly. Hilly, yeah. is it? Yeah, that's wow. where we are now. I'm excited for this. I'm really excited because I just... It's not going to be what I've visioned. You know, you get this per perception in your mind of what you, vi you think it's going to be. Yeah. This could be something like a course in Sheffield, you know, like Stocksbridge. <laughs> if you've ever been to Sheffield Place, Stocksbridge. I haven't been there, but... Uh, Trust me, if it's anything like Stocksbridge, it's going to be hilly, but... All right. How far away? Uh, another 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You know, it's, it's only been half a day that I've been here, but already to eat, I think, like, one of the biggest observations I made in airport when I was, you know, obviously arriving, where is how close families are and people right. are with each other. Right, OK. And I think in UK, that's one thing that we lose a little bit because maybe technology and we've got a lot of distractions in the world. Right. You know, a lot more... I don't know. I just yeah. saw, like, so much more of a closeness. Yeah. I think... Um um, all the Asian countries uh, have uh, close family ties yeah. and quite close knit families as well as communities. I think that's culturally, uh, it's a joint family system. Yeah. So people are a little bit more tied in with the, with the families. It definitely makes me think about my family a little bit more and that, you know, ta life passes you by sometimes and yeah. sometimes like, as a British person, I get stuck in my work and my life, and yeah. probably don't see my sisters and, and stuff as much as I should do. Right, okay. So, yeah. And did you see many people at the airport meeting and greeting? So many. Like, <laughs> if, if my sister's not going to wait for me at the airport when I get back, <laughs> you know, but that's but just. She's that, busy working, you know. That's, that's our way, like, a living, but, like, you know, 
Somebody goes on holiday, all the family comes to greet him back. <laughs> Just like, because they missed him. It's crazy. So he's just pointed the clubhouse out. It's just when we get past this building, it's yeah, right at the top good. of the hill. That one there, yeah? Yeah. On the top of the mountain. So here we are at Barrier Golf Club. It's a golf city. Golf city. I think it's called Pine Golf Club or something. Yeah. But nobody, I didn't know that. I thought it's called Barrier Golf City Golf Club. What we're going to do, we're going to be meeting President at Golf Club, aren't we? Yes, uh, somebody at the hierarchy. Uh, we'll they're going to have a uh, uh, little get together at the end as well, I well, think. I think we've got some questions. I'd like to know like, when this golf club was founded and why they chose to put it at the top of a mountain. Yes, look, we're going on top of the mountain. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to this. The first ever golf club. I've been in Pakistan. There we go, mate. Here we go. And that's the clubhouse. <laughs>